Hi friends, this is Pastor Doug. Welcome to our Friday evening Bible question of the week, where today we're going to be considering an interesting question. Did Jesus have real brothers and sisters? Now, this is not a salvation issue, but it is fascinating, and there are two different extremes that people go to on this subject. One group says, uh, Mary never had any other children besides Jesus because she always remained a virgin. And the other extreme is saying that Mary had at least six other children after Jesus, a whole another litter of kids that were literal brothers and sisters of Jesus. Uh, between the two, you're going to find the truth. First of all, did Mary stay a virgin forever? No. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 1, verse 25, and Joseph did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Now, some will say, well, because Jesus was the firstborn son of Mary, that means wherever there's a first, there must be second, possibly third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. No, for the Hebrews, they always identified the firstborn son because it represented a special offering, a special place, uh, and whether they had any other children after that or not. Um, so, but it says that Joseph and Mary had normal marriage relationship after that. And so Mary did not remain a virgin forever. Uh, he did have brothers and sisters. The Bible's clear. Matthew 13, verse 54, and this is through verse 56. When he had come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue. So they were astonished and they said, where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? And are not his mother, who is called Mary, and his brother, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, and his sisters, are they not all with us? And where did this man get these things? So it lists by name four brothers, and then it says he had sisters. These sisters probably had married at this point and lived locally because the people there in Nazareth knew who they were. Uh, it says the, this statement is a little different in the book of Mark. In Mark chapter 6, verse 3, it says, Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary? It doesn't say the carpenter's son. It says, Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and his brother, James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? Meaning they were still in the town. Uh, and then you can also read, even among the first miracles of Jesus, that was at uh, the wedding feast of Cana, and after this, he went down to Capernaum, he, his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. Notice his sisters did not go. They probably still lived up there in Nazareth where their families were. And his disciples. And he did not stay there many days. Furthermore, Jesus had an aunt. You'll notice it tells us that at the time of the crucifixion, John 19, 25, now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister. And it says, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. And so Jesus had at least some half-brothers. Now, evidently, um, there are a couple of different views. Some believe that Jesus had younger brothers and sisters, that uh, Mary had at least you know, six other children afterward. Uh, and others believe that these were technically, Adam Clark's commentary says, that these brothers, the word for the Hebrew cousin and brother was used interchangeably, and these were probably the children of Mary's sister, and so they were really first cousins. Um, and then others, and this is where I stand, uh, believe that these were actually the children from a former marriage of Joseph, that Joseph was a widower, that he had had several children with his first wife, and there are seven reasons why we believe that these are children that were half-brothers of Jesus, or at least through Joseph, from Joseph's former wife. Uh, first of all, it would have been, now here's the seven reasons, it would have been considered uh, highly disrespectful in this culture if Jesus was the oldest and the, the uh, firstborn of Joseph to leave the family and become an itinerant preacher. You read that he does this in Matthew 9, 25. The oldest would stay home and take care of everybody. He basically took on the head of household position. Uh, secondly, there probably were older brothers and sisters because it appears Joseph died before Jesus begins his ministry. He, Joseph, never appears in the Gospels following Jesus' 12th birthday. That's the last you hear of Joseph being alive. Uh, it always talks about Mary and his family, his brethren, but Joseph isn't mentioned. Third reason, if Mary had six or more other children, it says sisters, it never tells us how many, but it's got to be at least two. 
Uh, if Mary had six or more other children, it would have been very unlikely Jesus would commit her care to the apostle John as he hangs upon the cross. Now you read in John 19, verse 26, and when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved, John the apostle, standing by, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son, and Jesus nodded towards John, and then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother, and he nodded towards his mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Why in the world, if Mary's got six or more other children, would Jesus uh, will the care of his mother to the apostle John? It would have been perfectly natural for her other normal, natural children to take care of her because they were really the children of Joseph's first wife. Uh, fourth reason, nowhere in the New Testament are the brothers of Jesus explicitly called the sons of Mary, whereas Jesus is. Fifth reason, uh, the brothers of Jesus tried several times to control him, which suggests the possibility that they were older than Jesus. In the Jewish family life, the older children usually had authority over the younger children. And so the fact that they're telling him what to do, where to go, and you can read about this in John 7, verse 3 and 4, his brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go to Judea, that your disciples may also see the works that you're doing, for no one does anything in secret. He makes himself to be seen openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. And other times Jesus came, or Mary came to Jesus when he was teaching with his brothers. They said, Come out here, we want to talk to you. And Jesus said, uh, Who are my brothers but those that hear the word of God and do it? And um, the seventh reason is, um, well, a sixth reason rather, if Jesus was the oldest, his younger brothers would have been the, among the first of his followers as opposed to uh, chastising him. And you can read in John 7, verse 5, it says, For even his brothers did not believe him. Usually the older brother would have set the trend. Now, they did later come to believe in him. I'll get to that in a moment. And here's my final reason. Uh, there are several of the other types of Christ in the Bible, and you might be interested to know they were all the youngest. Abel, who is a type of Christ, the good shepherd, he was the younger brother. You've got David is the youngest. Moses is the youngest. Joseph is almost the youngest. Uh, a, um, uh, Jephthah was the youngest and others. The types of Christ, it's often the younger. And so um, Jesus is a type there. You know, if you read in the book Desire of Ages, that inspired book on the life of Christ, there the author says in page 86 and 87, his brothers, as the sons of Joseph were called, sided with the rabbis. And you read on a little later, all of this displeased his brothers being older than Jesus. They felt that he should be under their dictation. So it says the brothers of Jesus were older than Jesus there. And then finally, they do become believers. You read in the book of Acts, just before the Holy Spirit is poured out, Acts 1, verse 14, these all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. They were there in the upper room, received the outpouring of the Spirit. Indeed, one of the early founders of the church was the oldest son of Joseph. When the sons of Joseph are mentioned, James is mentioned first. He's probably the oldest. He becomes a patriarch in the church. You can read in Acts chapter 15 that uh, James ends up being the, pretty much the chairman of the board, you might say, for the early church. And it tells us that he's the one that issued the final decision. They all looked to him as the elder. He's probably the one who authored the book of James. Uh, he's the oldest brother of Jesus. You can read in Galatians 1 verse 19, but I saw none of the other apostles except James, the brother of the Lord. In order to qualify to be an apostle, you needed to be someone who is intimately acquainted with Jesus. You saw Jesus, Jesus talked to you, and uh, you believed the teachings of Jesus. And it's very possible that the Jude who wrote the book of Jude is Judas, same name like Doug and Douglas. Um, he was also the other brother of Jesus who's called Judas. And you can read where he begins in the first verse in the book of Jude, he says, uh, Jude the brother of James. And so, Probably two of the authors in the New Testament were uh, brothers of Jesus through Joseph. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's my reason for that. I hope you're edified by this and uh, 
will just provide some answers to some of these issues in the family of Jesus.